want to get rid of parents. I don't really need parents anymore. What do we need parents for? <clears throat> but they're doing all this stuff to, to help you, to help you because we're having such fertilisation problems and you know, people are having problems, having babies and all this sort of stuff. So we'll just, we'll just help them. We'll help the infertile males. Why are the males becoming infertile? Oh, my God, we have to help them with stem cell technology, all this sort of stuff. Well, the males are becoming infertile because everything's wrapped in plastic and plastic pumps estrogen into the food and there's a reason they wrap it all in plastic. You know, that's the way it is. There's a reason they do everything, folks, to GM foods, all the stuff. It's all designed to create population reduction. Not really population, you know, depopulation, as people say. It's not really population depopulation. It's population management, population reduction and management. They want to be able to control the amount of people on the planet. The best way to do that is to prevent people from breeding and get them to go and purchase their children or just create new children and put them into the workforce. You know, it's, it's, they're trying to do away with parents so they can create artificial sperm. And I spoke about this last year. And they also have these ectogenesis chambers, which is like an artificial womb. So all they really needed women for is to, to grow eggs. So you could create a situation where women are born just, just for, as to farm eggs from. And they'd be quite happy to be that way because they'd be trained to believe that's the way it would, it would, it would be. So that's what I was saying last year, that they don't, that's really the only reason they'd need women. But now we've got new technology where we don't need women. Now they're creating eggs as well. So now you've got an egg and a sperm cell created from stem cells so you can grow a new blank human with no genetic code from any of its predecessors or relations. You've got all the genetic codes of your parents, plus you've got all the waters of your parents, all the, the water of the memory and the emotional memory of your parents is all in the waters because water has memory. You've got all of this stuff in you, in your being. So now they can grow new blank humans. Of course, we're doing it. You know, it's all, it's a, this breakthrough is a masterpiece in bioengineering. You know, we can create artificial human embryos without the need for sperm or an egg. Growing embryos would help researchers study the very early stage. So there's a reason for it. They just want to help researchers. It's all good science, you know. We want to know this stuff so we can help you. That's why we want to grow new blank humans, and that's why we're introducing all this GM food to create stability in the population. Now, any, any animals that they've tested with GM food become sterile after three generations. Any, any animals they've tested. So if you're eating GM food, your kids are going to have a really hard time having kids. And if they eat GM food, then their kids probably will not be able to have kids at all. That's where we're going. Okay, then they can just grow blank humans. They can grow them in their little farm and brave new world. Here we are. Only brave new world on steroids. Even far, far worse than anything that Orwell put in his book. We see they're doing it. It'll improve the chances of having a healthy baby. Isn't that great? Aren't we glad we've got science? Wonderful people, aren't they? But they're setting up these genetic environments to be able to do this. Now, I said this as well, that uh, that's what they were doing. I said that in transformation, that um, what's in the chemtrails will very likely be affected by the biological environment it enters into, and you'll find that the, the ruling parasites, they don't actually have all the vaccinations that we have. So they've got completely different genetic environments for all this stuff to, to uh, act on. And this stuff, will, you'll find that the nanotech, they've done, they've done tests in the lab where they've put nanotech into rats and they've been able to get the nanotech to switch the genes of the rat on and off using microwaves, okay, radio waves. They can do that. Tested, tested, it works. So what in genetic, genetic environments are they setting up in people? What nanotech is operating in people? And with this smart grid is in place and we're all in this electromagnetic suit, what frequencies can they use to switch things on and off? And what, what devices are they building? What is happening inside us with the nanotech? Look at some of the work of Sophia Smallstorm. Got to give her a plug. She does great work. <laughs> you know, her, her work on, on STEM, she's very avant-garde. She's great. She's a very, very open-minded, independent thinker. And to her, some of her work on, um, on chemtrails is outstanding. It really is. So... This is all happening, folks. This is what they're doing, and we're heading to a very dark place. We really are. You know, the human race is being affected by what they eat, and they, they really keep us in a, in a bad, bad situation. Yeah, it's, uh, that's kind of the, the, way, we've, the way we've gone. But um, the Department of Neuroscience as well at Cambridge is who's developing all this stuff, right? The embryos were created using genetically engineered stem cells, okay? 
It's all the genetically engineered stuff, all GM. And this is where they're going. This is the, I saw this at the airport, uh, the latest National Geographic guitar. I've actually photographed this in my friend's place, but it's there, it's at the airport. Um, there you go, they're just they're promoting the hell out of this, folks, this, this next human, the next human. Great little reviving things up there, revealing things on the top there. Climate facts at the top there, of course, so not the fake news, folks, the facts, right? Alaska artifacts, okay, well, that's what's going on there. I want people's attention on Alaska and surviving ISIS. Okay, surviving ISIS. So they're getting us ready for Trump to go in and bomb Syria. Just in the latest National Geographic, you know. You are? Yeah, the ape. You notice the ape, you've got two eyes on the ape. And everything else has got one eye, you notice that? Two eyes, the ape's just looking around the corner going, what the fuck are you doing, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, but yeah, the ape's got two eyes, yeah. But uh, they're really pushing it beyond human. This is some of the articles in the magazine I was looking through, it. technology versus natural selection, okay? Do it yourself, evolution. It's all, this is the latest National Geographic. You can go and buy this. Get informed, folks. We're going there. This is where, this is your new future. You're going to love this shit. Yeah, it's great stuff, isn't it, you know? Science fiction becomes reality. Yeah, great stuff. I like this. When I met Cyborg Neil Harbison in Barcelona, he looked like any local hipster except for the black antenna arching impressively from the back of his skull over his mop blonde of hair. Impressively. It wasn't like a fucking freak out that this guy had an antenna. <laughs> It was impressively arching over his blonde, like, I might want to get one of those, you know? Yeah, let's promote the shit out of this, you know? Gee, I can have my antenna. I can become a cyborg max. This will be very cool. I won't even need my mobile phone anymore, you know? What a great stuff, you know? So, yeah, this is what they're doing, you know? And here's, uh, here's a doctor that's also saying now, doctor speaks out, babies being prepared by AI and transhumanism through vaccines and medicine. Now, I said this in my film in 2012, I said that. Here it is. It's happening. They're creating new blanks. New blanks they can create in the lab that have no genetic code of anybody who came before them who will just do what they're told. And they can grow them to be what they want. You want your worker race, you want your, your scientist race, you want your big drone police guys, you want your, your thinkers, who we'll think the way we want, of course, the left brain thinkers. You know, so they can create the humans that they want. It's all there in the lab. They don't need parents, but they've got to create a situation where it's very, becoming very difficult for people to have children. So I need help from the doctor, please. 